Hi everyone, I'm Tanise. I am currently one of the nurses here at Cornerstone and I have the privilege and the honor to sit here with the lovely Valerie Brooks who has been here with Cornerstone for how long? Ten years. Ten whole years. Um, and we get this privilege to sit here and have a quick discussion before you guys to celebrate Women's History Month. So, Ms. Valerie, would you like to tell the people a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I'm going to say that I've been a nurse probably for about 23 years, um, and I am going to be retiring at the end of this month. So I've had a fairly long career, and uh, I think you need to understand that uh, I wasn't a young woman when I started my career. I was actually in my 40s when I got the opportunity to uh, take nursing up. And uh, I uh, just kind of went with it, you know? I mean, I, I asked myself how many opportunities like this come your way mm -hmm. where uh, I qualify for a grant that would pay for my education. Awesome. So I said, okay, let's go for it. Um, and I'll tell you that um, uh, being a uh, believer that I felt as though God was leading me toward this and telling me, hey, here's the door. Walk through it. So that's exactly what I did. And it was, and it has been, um, a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. I, I always said this is probably what he always meant for me to do it in the first place. Um, I do have an older daughter who um, actually is also a nurse. But she actually got into nursing sooner than I did. Was she your inspiration? I wouldn't say she was my inspiration immediately. Mm -hmm. I would say that once I got into the nursing school and, and saw that, yes, I was very inspired by her. Okay. And so what prompted you to come to Cornerstone? Oh, what prompted me to come to Cornerstone was at that time I was unemployed. <laughs> And I was That's looking for a job. <laughs> yeah. And actually, um, I had a neighbor who works at, actually still works at Cornerstone mm -hmm. uh, that works in the houses and came in. And actually, at that time, as I said, I was looking for a job and I was willing to do anything. So I actually applied for a DSP position here and never heard back from them. And I didn't really know why. <laughs> But the reason why was the nursing supervisor at the time was someone I knew and had I had worked with before. And she knew who I was when I applied. And I found out later after I um, was uh, hired here, I found out later that she had told the person who interviewed me, oh, don't hire her. There's no <laughs> point in hiring her. She's a nurse. <laughs> so as soon as um, she had an opening, and again, I applied, I, I did uh, come in and interviewed with her and got the position here. Awesome. Two more questions for you. Mm -hmm. Can you um, tell me about a woman who has inspired you? Oh, that's easy. Uh, my, late, my late aunt, Dorothy. Oh, yes. Uh, because, first of all, she's, she's always been my idol. She uh, is a, uh, always was a very kind, uh, loving, caring, helpful person, very strong in her faith in God, and also, if you think, okay, she was, uh, back in the 60s, she worked for Illinois Bell, and she started out there as a telephone operator, and she advanced through the years to become district manager over, I think, like the south area, the south side area of Chicago. Okay. And so with our conversations and talking about being in a leadership position, she kind of shared all those things with me, all of her experiences, all of the things that she understood about management. Awesome. So if I have accomplished anything, um, it's because she really truly uh, nurtured me um, through and inspired me and kind of apprenticed me through all of the ins and outs of managing people. She sounds like an awesome woman. Yes. 
Um, and lastly, do you have any words of inspiration for us women that are up and coming? Well, all I have to tell you is that keep your eyes open for opportunity. It's there. You don't be afraid of it. Know and, and be grounded in who you are and what you know and what you want and what your abilities are. And don't let anything hold you back from accomplishing anything that you want to do. Because it's there. It's there for you. It really is. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. We truly appreciate it. Congratulations on your retirement. Oh, thank you. And to all of you, thank you for watching.